فضل الله عليكم ورحمته أن الله رؤوف رحيم الله تبارك وتعالى يا يا بايا أم بشوات علمي da kasance wannan gadan bayi da komai na ilimi sai abin da aka dan bashi dan kadan sai Allah ta'ala ce walau la fadlullahi alaykum da ba dan falalan Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala me yalwa ba akan ku wa rahmatu da kuma ta'u ainihi rahmar Allah ta'ala da ba dan haka ba wa anna Allah kuma Allah ta'ala ya kasance raufin mai tausayi rahimun mai jin kai da ba dan haka ba to da duwa yadda suka shiga wannan fitar da Aisha da bas rabatun anan duniya za a musu azaba azaba na mala'iku ma ba dan adam ba da kuma dukkan masu yin zinubi ba masu ba da ba dan jin kan Allah ba da tausayin sa akan mu ba da kana yin laifi za a kamo ka sai a sa mala'iku su danga kamo masu yin laifi amma Allah ta'ala mai jin kai ne Allah mai tausayi ne Allah mai rahama ne Allah yana son mu tuba duk abin da aka ambata can baya na suka da laifi da mutum zai tuba tsakanin sa da Allah Allah ta'ala zai yafe mu wannan falalla ce babba da Allah ta'ala yayi mana shi sa mutun yayi amfani da dama na tuba yana raye duk abin da ya sani yana yi na ba daidai ba ya tuba Allah ta'ala kuma ya alkawarin ansan tuban sa Allah ta'ala ya amsa mana ga bakida so the favor of Allah the most high on you wa rahmatuhu and his mercy that he covers you with his favor and his mercy wa anna Allah rahmatur rahim and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is kind and merciful were it not for this then Allah the most high would have get all the sinners destroyed especially those who are involved in this slanderous statement against the personality of Aisha radiyallahu anha therefore we should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his favor and repent from evil and also be doing good ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu la tattabi'u khutuwat ash-shaytan ومن يتبع خطوات الشيطان فانه يأمر بالفحشاء والمنكر ولولا فضل الله عليكم ورحمته ما زكى منكم من احد ابدا ولكن الله ولكن الله يزكي من يشاء ايها الذين امنوا يا قوه دك ايماني لا تتبعوا خطوات الشيطان كذا كو يدا كو بيتا كيتاكن شيدان وان النسيح الله تعالى ما يمتا تدي يوه اشن القران اوراري دبان دبان سبودا مبودي نا زنبي دا ساقو دا شيدان دون القوان دي يشي واسي يا بدا كو واسي ويدا الله تعالى يكبتر makiyine gare mu a bayyane saboda haka ba taku ma daya ba take taken sa hanyoyin sa na badda mutun suna daya idan kai ustazu ne ya san ba za ka sha giya ba ba za ka sha kwayoyi ba to ba ba zai kawo maka su ba yawa kullun kana cikin ustazanci kana cikin addini kana cikin qur'ani to ba zai kawo maka wannan sai ya kawo maka ni annamimanci aiwa ne ya ce cikin malamai ai da ka yake kai ma sai ka mai da mutum ai suwa ne ai kaza ai zuga ai kaza sai ga mutum yana ta aika ta kabairai irin na zina don idan kai da wani baya nan zulubin ka kamar zina ne ko ma ya fi dan ka ci namun sa namun sa danyi bayan ya mutu ka sa hukaka yanka ka ci kana malami kuma cikin masallaci wani lokaci ko ma a ramadan in baka yi sa'a ba ranar juma'a bayan la'asar lokaci mai tsada to me saura kai ma ka zama daidai su mun shedan ya san ga abin da zai kawo maka kai cikin wannan sanyi ba ba wahala kana cikin masu ka ba irai a rubuta ka da sunan ka qoro-qoro shi kuma wancan daman ya sani in ya kawo mai giya zai sha in ya kawo mai mata zai yi in ya kawo mai kaza duk zai yi duk sai kai musu shi professor ne na badda mutane yana karantan kowa kafin ya zo a me yasa annabi adam alayhi salatu wasalam wanda halittar allah ne Allah ya halicce shi da kansa yace mala'iku su mai sujada amma san da shi dan ya biyo ta inda zai yi halaka shi ya sauko da shi daga aljanna 
Allah ta'ala ya ce mu kakan mu annabi adam shi da iyalin sa su zauna aljanna babu wahala ya adam skul anta logical jannata wa kula minha ragadan haisu shituwa wala takaraba hadhi shajarata fatakuna minal zalimin fa adallahu ma shaytanu anha fa akhrajahuma mimma kana fi qulna habitu ba'dukum li ba'din aduwun wa lakum fil ardi mustaqarrun wa mataun ilahin wannan shine kissan kakan mu annabi adam da shedan aka ce kai annabi adam kana da girma kana da matsayi mala'iku su ma su jira su kai shedan yake aka ce to ga aljanna an ba ka zauna ba wahala ba ciwo ba tsufa duk abin da yake so shi da iyalan sa an ba su amma ita ce ya dai tal kada ci wani irin wani irin girma wane ba amma kakan mu annabi adam ba mala'iku su mai su jira gashi a cikin aljanna duk abin da yanzu kama a ce a najeriya a ce duk abin da muke so duk an ba mu illa wata ita ce ya ba dai tal kala ce to ina ruwanka ai sai ka girin wajen ba kai gaba dai ma wannan hanyar ka sa amma ka tanga ba ka ma bin wajen ba sufa ba efcc ba abin nan abin nan an dafa abin cibe da ba ba matan ka sun yi hayaniya ba su kul fees ya kare ba ka biya ba ba ka da matsala illa ka cika sha me zai sa ka ji wajen wannan ita ce amma shedan da san wannan ita ce kadai shine abin da annabi adam zai ci shi ya rab ya rabauta san da ya zuga shi yace shin bana nuna maka ita ce da in ka ci za ka dawo ba shirtul khuldi ita ce dawo ba ka san adam ba ya san mutuwa yana san ya dawo ba kuma an ce shekara hurudi ne ya fi son tazarci kuma ya hudin sau biyu ya fi so a kara ba ya san ya su ya bar ya bar abin da yake kai na jin dadi saboda ka sai biyu mai ta wannan ya dinga zuga ya dinga ya dinga har sadda annabi adam ya ce wannan ina ce to shi sai Allah ta'ala ke cewa a duk inda ka ji an kira mu sai Allah ta'ala ce la ta tabiyu khutuwatu shaytan kada ku yadda ku bi take takin shaytan Allah ta'ala ce ya yallan ina amanu khulu fi silmi kafa wala ta tabiyu khutuwatu shaytan innahu lakum aduwun mubin a bakara Allah ta'ala ce kar ku yadda ku bi take takin shaytan domin shaytan makiyinku ne a bayyane to kaga anan ma an saki kiran mu sai Allah ta'ala ya mana ya ce wa man yattabi khutuwatu shaytan duk wa wanda yake yadda ya bi take takin shaytan fa innahu ya'muru bil fasha shaytan yana umurni ne da mutun ya aikata alfasha zuna zuna sai ga mutun dattijo ne mutumin kirki shekarun sa 65 amma shi ma an kama shi ma da ya kankanwa yarinya ai shekara 10 ya wannan zai faru idan ba shirin shaidan ba 65 an kusan tafiya wanda ke nan akwai ma 65 anan ba ba da su nake ba su kusan tafiya ba saura saura kamar 50 a kara musu to amma ka san mutun ya haura 60 a lafuzin annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam to ya kusan tafiya sai dai kawai ya gara damara da istighfari ba wai ana nufin dan 60 ne kadai zai tafi a dan goma ma sai ya tafi ai sun ma tafi din da yawa amma annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam da shi da kansa ya ambaci 60 zuwa 70 in aka dan kara maka ko akan 70 to wannan kari aka muka sai kai ta istighfari da karin Allah ta'ala ya samu cika da imani to Allah ta'ala ya ce kada mu yadda mu bi take takin sa kuma duk wanda ya bi fa innahu ya'muru bil fasha yana umurtar mutun da aikata alfasha wanda muka ambata ni zina wal munkar da abun ki wato abun da ba a sani ba a cikin al'ada na mutanen kwarai ciya wannan abun ba a san shi ba sai a zo a gashe dan ya ya tura mutun ya ji yayi kai ne ce yanzu ana fade wa kananan yara wani daki za ka ji akan kananan yara in ba shirin shedan ba har ka ji malamin makaranta shi ma an kama shi da daliban sa duk in ba umurni na shedan ba ya yi irin wannan zai faru kuma dan alfasha din ne ga ga matan banza ko ina ga mata masu zaman kansu me kai ka ga dalibar makaranta wanda kake karantar da ita an baka amana amma sharrin shedan sai ya yi umurni sai kuma an bi shi idan ba wato ainihin tsare ba Allah ta'ala ce walaula fadlullahi alaikum da ba dan falalan Allah akan ku ba rahmatun rahman sa ma zaka minkum min ahadin abada da ba za a tsarkake daya daga cikin ku har abada ana nufin wa'adda suka tuhumi Aisha da har su mutu 
ba za su samu wato ainin karbuwa ba wajen Allah ta'ala Allah ba zai tsarkake su ba da ba dan fallan Allah ba har yanzu ana wa'azi wa duniya na musulmai masu imani ana dawowa kan Aisha saboda girman ta radar Allah ta samu wa tsaiba ba wajen Allah ta masu tafsiri suka ce duk da ana magana ne akan kowa da ba dan Allah ya so ba bisa rahmar sa da babu wanda za a tsarki a cikin mu amma yanzu ana magana su a kansu wanda suka yi wannan shar inda ba dan Allah yana da falala ba ga rahmar sa babu tsarki a kansu har abada sai sun je jahutan jahannama abadan har abada walakin Allah amma shi Allah yu zakki man yasha yana tsarkake wanda yasu wala tu zakku anfusakum huwa a'lamu biman ittaqa kar ku dinga tsarkake kawo nan kuku kalona ka ce ai ai mu ustazai ne mu ai baron mu ina ka san wani ustazai ko ka tsaya ka yi bakan ka ka wadansu dukkan dalmu yadda su ka batar da su ka halakar da su kai ne kadai wanda ya samu tsira duk wannan ba daidai bane kullun ka dinga nadaman abin da kai kana kuma tsoron haduwa da Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala baka san yadda za a gama ba wannan shine alama ta imani tsakanin tsoro da kuma wato ainin a a a a bege da kuma wato tsakanin kwadayi na Allah ta'ala zai baka shi Allah shi ke tsarki wanda ya ga dama wallahi shi Allah samiun alimun Allah mai ji ne Allah masani ne jinsa ba irin jin mu ba sanan a ilmin sa kamar aka bayani can baya ba irin ilmu ba ji ko wannan mu yanzu yana jin maganar da ake yi amma bayan jin abin da ke faruwa a gidan sa a yanzu haka sai dai idan an mar waya to shi Allah ta'ala yana jin komai a ko ina yake to haka ba irin jin mu bane suna ya tara ji din amma ya bambanta ko a mutane za ka samu jin wani ya fi na wani wani idan kana mara magana sai ka daga muri an baka ba zai ci ba kuma kunnan sa sun fi naka girma saboda ba girman kunnan ba ne yake jawo ji Allah ne yake kaddara wa kowa irin darajar jin sa wani idan aka yi magana ka dan zai ji wani kuma sai an daga muri kafin ya ji a a za ka ga na uran ji daban-daban kuma irin namu kunnin da Allah ta'ala ya mana na ji ba shi wa dabobi ba irin na jin su suna da irin nasu kunnin kuma suna suna jin irin abin da suke ji na har su kan su dan su ma suna magana irin ta su kuma su ma suna ji amma da turuwa za ta zo ta yi magana anan wajen kai ba za ka ji ba amma annabi sulaimana ya ji ta ta yi magana ya kuma gane abin da take fadi da kunnan sa kai kunnan ka ba zai ji na turuwa ba domin ba amma suna da ran jin abin da turuwa ke bayani ba kuma duk kunne ne waye da suke tare da annabi sulaimana su ma suna da kunne amma su ba za su ji ba to haka Allah ta'ala yake abin sa to bare ka ce na Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala jin sa ba irin jin ka bane ko da kun hada suna iri daya haka dukkan siffofin Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala siffofin da muke da shi yake da shi suna kawai suka hada amma sun sha bamban Allah ya samu dace na'am Allah continue address those who believe say la tattabi'u khutuwat ash-shaytan do not follow the footsteps of shaytan this is a great warning because Allah knows that shaytan opens every door to evil any door against which evil is locked shaytan leads you to open it therefore he warns the believers not to follow the footsteps of shaytan knowing fully Allah the most high knows that shaytan is a professional he knows how to handle you he knows from the area he can come to whisper evil into you and get you a misled that is why if shaytan knows that you are a pious man you are a scholar or you are an imam he will not whisper into you to go and take alcohol or to go and engage yourself in dancing or something of that nature because you know that you have conquered him from that area therefore he may not succeed however he will approach you from an angle that he will get you destroyed you are a scholar then he will make you to engage in competition condemning whoever did not follow what you have said or who differ from your own opinion or you you be you be engaged he engage you in envy 
whoever said anything as a scholar, you condemn him that he does not know anything. With this, he destroys you through hazard and envy. So, so that's why that's how he did to Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. He followed Adam alayhi salatu wasalam from an angry, thinking that Adam thought that he was uh, he loved him. Rather, Satan wanted to mislead him. Adam alayhi salatu wasalam was admitted into paradise. Allah the Most High told him to eat freely. وَقُلْنَا يَا آدَمُ يَا آدَمُ سُكُنْ أَنْتَ وَزُوْجُكَ الْجَنَّةِ وَكُلَا مِنْهَا أَرَاغَدًا حَيْثُ شِئْتُمَا Allah the Most High asked Adam to stay in paradise, he and his wife, and they should eat in abundance whatever they like in paradise free of charge. However, Allah said, do not approach this tree. If you eat it then, you will be among the wrongdoers. Satan followed him because Adam wanted to remain forever in paradise. So he followed from that angle and made Adam to be uh, sent down from paradise. He came and deceived Adam. Oh Adam, as someone who loved him, who loved Adam والسلام, who was of the uh, people who are, uh, who are advising Adam in a positive way. Oh Adam, did I not tell you, did I not show you a tree if you eat from which you are going to remain in paradise forever? Then Adam was misled from that angle. He ate from it, and Allah the Most High told them to he and the wife to come down. That's the point of suffering. Okay. The brother, as uh, the question was read, let me repeat it, that his wife, he lost his wife about 18 months ago. Then Project Coordinating Office of Land and Housing of his state wrote a letter to him that he should look or, or for a public uh, burying ground because he buried her in, their com in her, his compound to rebury his wife. Then he said what necessary steps are going to be taken in, the way in, uh, in achieving this. Uh, first of all, you have committed a great mistake and sin for burying your wife in your house. It is not permissible for one to bury his relation in his house. Burial ground is provided for Muslims to bury their dead ones. Whenever a Muslim died, he should be taken uh, there and be buried where other Muslims are being buried. Home burial is not permissible in Islam. One may ask that the Prophet ﷺ was buried in his compound in the bedroom of Aisha radiallahu anha. Of course, that was what happened. However, the burial of the Prophet ﷺ was a khususiyah, was specific to him. Allah the Most High command that prophets should be buried wherever they died. Therefore, the Prophet ﷺ should not be carried to any place for burial. Hence, he was buried in the bedroom of Aisha radiallahu anha. You may further ask that Abu Bakr is not a prophet, so also Umar is not a prophet. Why were they buried along with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Yes, the answer is that Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu uh, requested from Aisha that uh, let him be buried beside or near his beloved friend, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa that's why Abu Bakr was taken there and buried beside or near the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Any time a Muslim pass by a grave and say, uh, "Assalamu alaikum, ahl al-diyar min al-mu'min," to the end of that uh, of that supplication, he pray for Allah's forgiveness on behalf of those inhabitants of that grave. Your brother who is buried there will be among those to benefit from that uh, prayer. If he is at home, nobody will visit your house, let alone pray for him. Therefore, you deny him of the blessing of those who are visiting graves to be praying for him. You see another problem. So, how, his sin, how are his sins going to be forgiven? Uh, if he is there, he will benefit from other righteous servants who are being brought or whom he met there. But if he is in his house alone, he cannot, he lose all these uh, benefits. Therefore, don't ever bury your 
dead ones in your houses. Sometimes you see even a dead person will be buried and you see people in front of houses, they will be sitting on top of the, of the grave. So it is haram. Muslims who are doing it should stop uh, doing so. Then in the case of your wife, whom the government said that she should be exhumed and to be buried in a public burial ground, then you should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a good opportunity for you. So what should be done is that she should go, she, she should be exhumed and be buried where other Muslims are being buried. Another issue that relates to this is transfer of a corpse. A person lived in Abuja with his family, with uh, whatever, he worked in Abuja and he happened to die in Abuja, he's together with his, uh, in the midst of his brothers, Muslims, then his relation either in the village or living together with him in Abuja will insist that he must be carried to his village for burial. This is also not allowed. A Muslim should be buried where he died, except if there are no Muslims there, then he must be transferred to where there are Muslims, a nearby settlement where there are Muslims. And if you take analogy from this, he can be taken to his village. So if not this, where a Muslim died, he should be buried there. And if he write a wasiyah, if he knows that it is a practice of his people, that whenever the, a member of their family died, he is being taken to his village, then write in your wasiyah that under no circumstance should, be, should you be taken to your village for burial. You should be buried where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes your life because there are Muslims there, they are equally Muslims, the people you are meeting there, they are equally Muslims, then why should you be taken home? The most important thing for a deceased is prayers. And nobody can stop prayer from reaching you from wherever it is said, from wherever in this world. Wherever a believer says, may Allah forgive so so person, it will come to you. Even if it is in China, even if the place of maybe from Abuja to Koji State, or from Abuja to Lagos or to, to Sokoto. Wherever a person pray for you, Allah the Most High will answer the prayer. So these uh, Muslims should uh, adhere to this uh, command so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be merciful on us. May Allah forgive us. This is the only question we are taking today. Abunda muka yadayi Allah ibamu lada. Inna muka kuskuri Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ya fi mana. Allah mat ukin sariki ya karbi addu imu. Allah karbi ibadar mu. Allah mat ukin sariki. Yadayi ta'ala amura muda basa tafi adayi. Allah yalwa ta'ala zikimu. Ibamu la fi amu amfani. Ibamu imani da ilmi muanda muki aiki da shi. Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala shini mafi sani akambu ka tunde da ukumu gabaki da Allah mat ukin sariki muna tawasli da wanna zama da muka yi da wanna karatu da muka yi da wanna wata da muka chiki ya Allah mat ukin sariki ka biya buka tunko wa nida gachikimu Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ka ansa addu wa imu Allah ka yafi mana Allah ka mana gafara Allah ka anfa na zuriyarmu Allah mat ukin sariki ka kari sida gatabi wa Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ka sasa zama masu kwaani abun al-fakhari na muslim si da muslimi shukaban wanna kasa ka mayedda akasani Bayi jidah di bawah ayat Allah fiah tiada Allah fiah sah anu kuma ya ekor dosa pancewa asalnya asalnya cikin adua akan itu mumunar panada akemata muna cah adua kawan muslimi ya tabat dicewa yang mohon nak sah adua kuma yang nama sesiapa juga bang adua yang nama kan sah adua ada dukka muslimi na dunia kepada Allah tabarak wa taala ya bashi lafia Allah dari taala mura mohon nak sah dekik dengan tegal Allah tabarak wa taala ya mana dukka kunci dalam kefama di siapa nak sah ya dari taala mura kebaki dah ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين
والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وبعد يوم وما سجير ما السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته تيو ما كمالي نمك سابا زم دورا دي دي إنه قانا جيا هاري نزملا تكين سورة النور ذا متاش أكن آية تا أشرين دوكو إن الله تبارك وتعالى كتشوا إن الذين يرمون المؤسنات على غافلات أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الذين يرمون المحصنات الغافلات المؤمنات لعنوا في الدنيا والآخرة ولهم عذاب عظيم نعم بياني ني مكتنا وكو كسام كوانا وكو أنا تي أوانا سورة نوانكنا نعيشا يار صديق إتما صديقا Allah Taala yang kara mati ada, dan itu demi ayat finta ada seorang sabar. Tu Allah Taala yang cihari yang zakai. Inna Allahi nairbul musnad. Lelawa itu sikit di pun waktu kamu mumata, waktu mata mas kamu kai. Al musnad. Wajud kamu mene, waktu basa syiga abin dah kiri cewa. الفاشا سأن الله تعالى كارا مسوة تسبا يجي على غافلات أو أين غافلي كما يد الطبري يبصرا يجي سو ويد أكيد شوا الموسنات سوني على فيفات على غافلات ويد سكي غفلة دعوة تو أين الفواهش Watu basa alfasha Matani watu basa Zua Kukaru wanchi Kuabindi isha piwa nantasha Nga kamu nkai Nga kuma Rashi nkusa wa Chiking abinda Zai eta umutin tinsu Kuna aiki Kuna magana Kuna shiga Dome akwe shiga da machadhata hii Kau betul makan apa? Iden terak apa kanem masa? Zat segani iden nabi atta. Aku yang makan apa tu? Iden terima masa segaji. Yang wanta masa alfa syaza segani cewa wana iden tasu. Tuah ina macam suku day babu. Ba mumunen shiga. Ba makan ana alfa sya. Ba ma amal ana alfa sya. Al mu'minati ko mu'minai. Ici al mu'minati بالله ورسوله سنا إيماني إلى الله سنا إيماني إلى مزن الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فوء الدسكى سوكا إلى وء النماتن سكى جيبا سودا أبند بسيبا سكى إن كذا في أكنسو تو الله تعالى شيء جاسا كم أكون مسكين وان نمومون أيك لو إنه في الدنيا الله يالا أنشس الدنيا والآخرة يا كما لا أنشيس على خيرا ولهم كما أجريش وأدسك وانا كذفن وأدسك وانا ممولا تهما ولهم عذاب عظيم سنة عذابا وديك ميجرما كعدو وانا كارياتي جنا نا إشارة الله عنها جو أدسك يرون وانا تهما أكنتا دما صور ما تا وأدب عيبا ألو كتير أما دعبا أنزو أني أكو أنا هي أيوم Kaga sabo da martaba nta Allah ta ala edinga sa wukadda hukunche hukunche Na matayi mata Na mutinchi mata Da rashi nyin kaza fi Ga mata kama mu Surat al-Nur verse 23 Still Allah the Most High continues To certify the innocence of Aisha Tradellahu anha From what she was accused of Allah says, إن الذين يرمون المحصنات الغافلات المؤمنات Certainly those who accuse المحصنات just women 
women who do not commit acts of immor immorality al ghafilat who do not even think of it it does not even come to their heart let alone committing it al mu'minat believers who believe in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger they combine these three great descriptions being chaste being those who do not even think of immorality in their heart and then believe in women whosoever accuse these personalities of zina then their own recompense is lu'inu fi dunya wal akhirah they have been cast by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this world wal akhirati and in the hereafter wa lahum adhabun azim and unto them is great punishment this is what allah the most high prepares for those who accuse these these personalities therefore this surah or these verses we have been reading uh, since uh, <coughs> three days ago we are still explaining the position of aisha radiallahu anha and also depending the honor of women from being accused of any form of immorality of this nature so that's why it is enough an honor for aisha and also enough an honor for believing women who came up to after aisha up to the day of qiyamah their honor has been made manifest by allah the most high they have been protected nobody has the guts of accusing them of these kinds of immorality yawma tashhadu alayhim alsinatuhum wa aydihim wa rujuluhum bima kanu ya'malun su wai da suka yi irin wannan mummunan aiki na kaza fito za a samu shaida gobe kiyama daga gare su sukaran kansu yawma tashhadu alayhim alsinatuhum a ranar alkiyama har sunan su za su yi shaida a kansu wannan abin da suka aikata a nan duniya na kazafin mata mu'minai kaman mu to su karan kansu har sunan su za su yi shaida cewa lalle an yi wa aidihim hannayen su ma za su yi shaida wa arjuluhum kafafuwan mu su ma za su yi shaida bima kanu ya'maluna bisa abin da suka sanci suna aikata inda suka je inda suka taka inda suka rika inda suka fadi duk gaba ke dai zan to shaida a kansu cewa wannan laifi sun yi shi kaga kenan ba rana ce wadda mutum zai je da niyyar cewa zai kora wani abu wadda ya riga yayi shi ba ko za a samu mataimaka da su taimaka mashi da shaidan zurba a rana ce wadda yake kawahuwa ma za su yi shaida hannaye za su yi shaida ga ban jiki ga baki dai za su yi shaida shi sa maganin wannan yinin kawai kada mutum yi aikata laifin da za a ce me yasa amma irin mutum ya yadda ya aikata bai tuba ba to ba maganar cewa mutum ya je sai ya ce a ba ai haka ba a duniya ne ake yin haka idan mutum ya yi laifi a kawo shugaban kuliya ya ce a shi bai yi ba har ma an yi da daurin gindi wadansu manya sa baki a ce an saki shi can alamarin ba haka yake ba ba sai an kawo shaida ba a ga ban jikin mutum za su yi shaida to shi sa ake so mutum tun daga nan ya san irin tafiya irin tafiya da zai yi domin tafiya da zai je ya riska a can wasu su ba irin nan ne ba musamman abin da ya shafi idan mutum ya yi barna ko barna ya zama to akwai haƙƙin wani a ciki akwai haƙƙin wani a ciki idan tsakanin ka da Allah ne da sauki ina akwai haƙƙin wani a to babu shakka abin ba zai zo da sauki ba Allah ya sa mutu ba so it is a day when no witnesses are required it is a day when no lawyer is required raza one's hands one's part of body are enough to testify and bear witness against him of what he did of evil yawma idhin yuwaffihim allah dinahum alhaqq wa ya'lamuna anna allah huwa alhaqq almubin na'am a wannan yinin yawma idhin yawma idh wannan ranar da za a taru gaba ki daya 
a waje guda domin hukunci Allah ta'ala ce yuwafihimullah dinahu Allah zai cika musu wato ainihin sakamakon su ad-din yana zuwa da ma'anan wannan ad-dini inna ad-dina inda Allahi al-Islam lalle ad-dini wadda Allah tabarak wa ta'ala zai karba gobe kiyama a wajen bayin sa ad-dinin musulunci wadda shine dukkan annabawa suka yi annabi adam shi yayi annabi nuhu shi ma ad-dinin musulunci yayi annabi dawud annabi suleiman annabi musa annabi isa dukkanin su ad-dinin musulunci suka yi akwai din na cika na ranar sakamako maliki yawmid din ma mallakin rana na sakayya shi ma ana ambatan su da ad-din kamar yadda yazo a wannan ayyan kuma yawma idhin yuwafihim Allah dinahu a ranar a wannan yinin Allah zai ciccika musu wato ainin sakamakon su alhaq tabbatacce sakamakon ranar tabbatacce ne babu kariya a ciki duk abin da aka ce an ba mutum ba kariya aka mashi ba ya tabbata ya faru a duniya ne ake ciwaciwa ko cukucuku wajen hukunci ko dai a samu shi alkalin shi ma dai ga yadda ake ciki a labarta masa ya kabi kasonsa ya canza al'amar ko kuma a a samu wani kwararren masanin doka ya zo ya dinga barin turanci daga sama zuwa kasa duk al'amarin ta juye ta kife sai a dauki gaskiya a mika wa mai ƙarya a dauki ƙarya a ba mai gaskiya duk ana yin haka a duniya ko kuma a shi wanda aka kawo din ya iya magana ya iya tsarawa ya tsara ya burge alkali ya kula alkali alkali ya dauki gaskiya ya ba wabar gaskiya ba ma a cikin sani ba ana samun haka ba tare da yaka wani abu ba ba tare da ya sani ba bisa bayanin da ya bayyana a gaban sa sai yayi wato ainihin hukunci wadda ba shine daidai ba to a can babu haka za a bayar alhaq ya tabbata duk wadda aka mikawa abin da aka bayi shine nasa wa ya'lamuna anna allah kuma a ranar kowa zai sani huwa alhaq cewa allah ta'ala shine gaskiya yau akwai mu'minai masu imani sun yadda allah ta'ala shine gaskiya amma akwai wa'adda ba su yadda ba cikin munafukai da kafirawa to amma a wannan yinin wa ya'lamuna kowa da kowa zai yadda anna allah huwa alhaq cewa allah ta'ala shine gaskiya shi yasa da aka ce maliki wa muddin mun mallaki ranar sakamako haka shi ke mallakan yau da jiya da magobe amma wasu sun yadda wasu basu yadda ba amma ranar sakamako kowa sai ya yadda babu wanda zai jayayya to shi yasa mutun yayi kokari yayi guzuri wanda a ranar ranar gaskiya zai samu sakamako na gaskiya tabbatacce daga wajen mai gaskiya huwa alhaq almubin wanda yake a bayyane a bayyane babu wani a boye boye a ranar a komai zahiri zai zanto a kirawa ne a ce shi ga aljanna ta kofa arayyan saboda azumin sa yayi ina an kira masu azumi duk a bayyane ba buya a ciki sun shiga sai a ce to a rufe an gama a kada wadansu a raka wadansu aljanna a kora wadansu zuwa wuta shi ma duk gaskiya ne babu son kai a ciki Allah ta'ala ya sa gobe kiyama bazan to cikin wanda za su haye zuwa cikin aljanna ana yawma idhin yuwafihim Allah dinahum alhaq on that day Allah the most high will pay them their full and true recompense wa ya'lamuna anna Allah huwa alhaq almubin and they will certainly know that Allah the most high is the manifest truth Deen here refers to recompense. In some verses it comes with the meaning of religion. In Nadina in the Allah al-Islam, the approved religion with Allah the Most High is Islam. While here it goes the same meaning with the verse where Allah says, Malik yawm al-Din, Allah is the master the owner and the controller of the day of judgment the day of recompense so on the day of qiyamah allah will pay everyone 
his recompense in, according to, in accordance with what one did, either good or bad. It is a court that no one can present any form of bribery. Incorruptible judge, Allah the Most High, there, no lawyer will come to distort evidence in order to confuse judge and to judge in his favor or in favor of his or her client or a day when a judge it is not a day when a judge will make a deal between him and he who commit offense who is guilty as such the judgment will turn in favor of he who is guilty of committing offense rather it is a day when <coughs> Allah himself the judge of all judges will pay and will give recompense to all in accordance with their deed. And everyone who was in doubt when he was alive of Allah's control of the day of Qiyamah or Allah's control of the kingdom will submit willingly that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the true and mani is the manifest truth. That's why Allah says he is the Malik Yawmuddin the owner and the controller of the Yawmuddin rather also he is the controller of today he is the owner of today but on that day even those who reject will really submit that Allah is the real owner of judgment Al khabithatu lil khabithin wal khabithun lil khabithat wat tayyibat lit tayyibin wat tayyibat lit tayyibin wat tayyibun lit tayyibat ulaika mubarra'un mimma yaqulun lahum to har yanzu ana bayani akan tsare bakuna wajen maganganu wadda basu dace ba wadda ta yi ta kai ga mutun yayi kazafi ga wani ko ga wata kuma dacewan miyagun mutane da miya miyagun maza da miyagun mata tsarkakun maza tare da wato ainihin tsarkakun wato ainihin mata Allah ta'ala ce al khabithatu wannan ana bagara ne akan mata wa'adda suke da miyagun wato ainihin maganganu a bakunan su magana idan za ta yi nufin magana za ta yi magana ne mara dadi kuma ta saba yi ta lakance shi za ka samu wadannan sun kware wajen idan sun yi magana maganar su ba ta da dadi to irin wa'annan a uh, masu maganganu marasa dadi daga cikin mata to su suka dace lil khabithin su suka dace da maza ko kuma su ne wato ainihin yan uwan maza wa'adda ke suma idan sun yi magana maganganun su yana kasancewa miya gu maganganu ne ba su da dadi daga cikin misali na a uh, a uh, munan magana ko muguwar magana mutun ya dubi wani ko ya dubi wata yayi mata kazafi ko ya masa kazafi magana ne babba wadda shar'a ba ta barin wannan magana a barta haka sai an dauki mataki na shar'a to sai Allah ta'ala ya kara da cewa wal khabithuna lil khabithat su ma maza masu miya gun maganganu ba su dacewa da kowa sai lil khabithat sai mata wa'adda ke suma maganganu su miya gun ne kai ka ce nan an gabatar da mata an fadi yan wansu maza nan an gabatar da maza an fadi yan wansu mata saboda balaga na alkur'ani mai girma da wannan ake cewa idan mutun zai aure to ya nemi wa'adda suka dace da irin dabi'unsa na addini kar mutun kawai ya gama ce saboda ta fito daga gida na manya babban gida gidan da da an ji sunan gidan an san babba ne yace to shi sai ya aure a wajen ta yi aure rigima da rikici da fitina da bala'i wanda auren ma ya gagara zaunuwa haka nan ita mace kattarun gumo mijin da dan dai an cewa ne ko wajen ilimi ko wajen kudi ko wajen sarauta 
ko wajen shahara tace a lambaran sai shi ko lijiya kowa ya dauko daidai abin da yake daidai da shi abin da ya shafi kuma addini ya zanto abin da aka duba addini kar kuma a dubi wato ainin kyau kadai ko kudi kadai ko zuriya kadai ta idan mu taje kwaso abin da ba na shi ba karshe ya bar abin da yake kai na tarbiya duk girman sa sai Allah ta'ala ce wa tayyibat su ma kuma mata masu lafuza masu kyau wadda ya dace ni tayyibina su suka fi dacewa ga maza masu lafuza masu kyau sarkakakku sarkin ya game da na zuci da kuma na baki da ma na aiki a tayyib shi sai Allah ta'ala ce fankihu ma taba daga tayyib ma taba من النساء فانكيو ما طاب لكم من النساء مثلا وثلاثا ورباء فان خفتم ان لا تعدلوا فواحده او ما ملكت ايمانكم الطيب شي دي دي ده وانن زنشي نك زابي واتو دا 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 ما سواتو عينين كياو مقيدا ما سواتو عينين كياو معامله ما سكياو لفظا وانن با با وي نا نفن شي متين يدي يا اورو بود باي سوبا a wacce ba ba ka santa ba ba haka ne ba mutun wacce da yake so ya aura ta zanto tana da dabi'u na addin ba a nufin cewa haka kawai ka rufe ido ka je ka dauko bacin da ba ka santa ba ka santa dan dai an ce ta dace alqurani ko tana da addin ko tana sallan dare sai ka auro ta ba a saka ba in kuma ka auro babu laifi amma shar'a ba ta hana ka zaben wacce kake so ba in la shar'a ita ma ta ga muka shar'a da take so domin a zauna lafiya Allah ta'ala ce wa tayyibatu li tayyibin mata tsarkakku su suka dace da ɗan wansu maza tsarkakku sa'an nan wa tayyibuna su ma maza wadda suke da tsarki li tayyibati ga mata tsarkakku kaga wannan ka son idan ka duba shi da kyau za ga shi ne adalci shi sa ake cewa masu wato ainin neman aure to sun su ba abu ne na gaggawa ba ai bincike kuma har an yadda idan aka ce wani ana so ya auri wanci ana neman dabi'ar sa a fada ba cin naman sa ne ba ci wani dai alhamdulillah yana salla amma yana taba barasa ba wani koyo a ciki wani lokaci ma idan ya shata da yawa ya kai tangal tangal a ganshi wani ma ya ganshi su wani ma sun ganshi wuwa mun ganshi wani shine gaskiyar magana to kaga an yi adalci anan ko kuma a ce wance alhamdulillah tana zuwa islamiya tana hijabi amma duk inda ta je fada ake tana da bala'in tsokana ba ta taba zama ta yi awa uku a waje ba ba ce sai ta rike ta wajen kaga an fada gaskiya ga hijabi ga islamiya ga kuma fitina to kai sai ka duba kaga idan fitina kake so a gidanka sai ya kwaso ta domin an ga ma gaskiyar lamari ba koyo a ciki saboda zamani ba na kwana daya ba ba na kwana biyu ba ba da mako ba ana son tafiyar ta kai har aljanna idan aka yi rufa rufa sai ga abin bai daidai ba to ga tambaya idan yar ka ce fa wani ya ganta yana son ta ya zo ko ya turo yace kuma ka ga mai gaskiya me ake ciki akan dabi'unta na ga ma sauraro su za su ba da ansa wannan ala ayi halin a wato tsarkakakku su suka dace da tsarkakakkun mutane duk wannan wato bayanai ne akan wanki Aisha radiyallahu anha har yanzu shi sai Allah ta'ala ce ulaika mubarrauna mimma yaqulun wa'anda muka ambata yanzu gabanin khabisat wato tayyibat su ne wa'anda yake wankakku daga tuhuman da aka yi musu Aisha kina wa da suka tuhume ta da mugun abu to at-tayyibat lit-tayyibin ai ita ma ta ce ga rasulullahi sallallahu alaihi wasallam tsarkakakka ka ce matar kuma mafi tsarkin dan adam a ban kasa
dukkan nau'in aminci a barwa nagar ta da mai saya da mai sayarwa ai zamu ci tsadar da mujin masu iya magana ko suka ce dan juma ne da dan jummai ina masu sha'awar sayen dan fara dan farin gidaje na zamu ne na ajin karshe tsaka tsaki ko ko na kasa karbar hayar gida ofishi ko shago ko ko gina wake kake so mu kulama su sauta gudu ka zumburburki daidai na properties limited kamfanin da ya shirya dan samarwa kulawa da saukawa mutane mu halli akan farashi mai rahusa kadan daga cikin yanayi gidan da ke karshen kulawar na properties limited sun hada da na properties develop site dake Kado district babban birnin ta Raya Nigeria Abuja sa annan new complex da ke area can Abuja SHM complex Mabusha Abuja Iba Plaza gwaran fa da ke garin Abuja New Water complex Jabi Abuja Sai Concept Plaza da ke gwaran fa Abuja sa annan nawa industrial complex da ke Idel Shima a babban birnin Tarayyar Nigeria Abuja Sai residential apartment da ke Jabi Abuja na Nigeria Sai MKK Plaza da ke gudu Abuja na Nigeria da dai saurin su ta bangaren Wuye mai tama districts na properties limited muna nan a adreshi mai lamba AP16 Amak Plaza da ke lan heritage house akan jitin sultan abubakar dake wasa zon 3 abuja nawa properties limited ana iya samun mu akan address mu na yanar gizo nawa pro98 at gmail.com ko alambar mu ta salula 0780888886 ana iya samun mu akan 0800525559599 ko ko akan 0800525569599 nawa properties limited farin cikin ku shine namu nawa properties limited na gargashin ma dugu Haji Alhaji Abdul Rahman Buhari MK Chairman Now Properties Limited